multiple contact! Yeah! 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 <laughs> Fuck off! What is going on, freaks? My name is Freaky, and welcome back to a Call of Duty Black Ops 3 Best Gun Class Setup. And today we're going to be taking a look at the CUDA SMG. This gameplay is on some Nuketown domination. Hope you guys are going to enjoy it. Now, I know a lot of you guys are thinking, hey, Hey Freak, it's a little bit early for a best gun class setup, but I think I found the best combination of attachments and perks and blah 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 put together and made this SMG amazing. Now, this class is going to be for someone that likes to rush and get on the objective or flank and just melt people up close. This is going to be the weapon for you. And a little bit about the weapon uh, before we go into the class setup here. Uh, the weapon is unlocked uh, right away at level 1, right when you pop in the disc. You're going to be able to use this weapon. And it's a very, very manageable weapon. It's a very low recall unless you're trying to hit someone from across the map. Then it's going to kind of get away from you. But the weird thing with this weapon is if you hammer down on the trigger, it kind of recenters itself onto the body of the enemy which is pretty cool, like the Black Ops 1 MP5K used to do. So if you were a fan of the MP5K from Black Ops 1, or maybe you haven't even played it, but if you're a fan of the MP5s, you're going to like this gun a lot. Now taking a look at the class setup here, we have the attachments Long Barrel, Grip, Stock, and Extended Mags. Now before I go into why we picked these, you are going to need the Wild Cards Primary Gun Fetter 1 and 2, if you guys didn't know already, that's how you get more attachments on your weapon. Now, Long Barrel is because we want to compete against the ARs in the map. Since this is an SMG, we want to extend that range of uh, the damage that we're putting out as much as possible. Grip is going to come in handy just because we are using Iron Sights and not a sight today and we don't want the recoil to go all wonky even though this a weapon doesn't really have too much recoil but you will need it just a little bit now stock will come in handy because i was flopping back and forth between quick draw and stock and i found out stock is a little bit more useful especially if you're going to be one that's running into spawns and you want to kind of sidestep people back and forth quick draw was only useful for like one-on-one -on -one gunfights but stock came in use when you're running it deep into the spawn and trying to uh, get maybe two or three enemies at a time. Now, extended mags is going to help you get those two or three enemies at a time and maybe even a fourth. Now, that's why I said uh, for the people that like rushing, this is going to be a class for you because you can rush into a spawn and easily pick off two or three right off the spawn because you're moving around really, really fast. You have no recoil, you have a longer range, and you have a lot of ammo, which is fan freaking tastic. Now, the perks today, we only have two perks on. We have six cents and tactical mask, which is weird because six cents, I like rushing with six cents because you can see on your mini map, it'll indicate what direction, where, how close he is uh, to you and wherever the enemy is. So if you are one that likes to rush, you're rushing deep into the spawn like on Nuketown and you don't know that an enemy spawn back in the spawn, you'll easily see an indicator it'll bleep and make a sound and it'll tell you that someone's right behind you so you can flip around and uh, basically kill them that way and tactical mask is just because i don't like flinching when i get hit with stuns or flashbangs or anything like that i just hate it it's not fun and when you're rushing around it just ruins the momentum overall now our last and final thing is our equipment, and we have one concussion, and I only put one concussion on because when you are rushing, you like to uh, kind of stun check areas. So that's what I like to do when I'm rushing. I like to kind of toss them over, and uh, it kind of gives you a little bit of a slowdown on the enemies, and you can easily peek up behind them and uh, kind of give them a surprise attack kill. So hope you guys did enjoy this video. This has been the CUDA Best Class Setup for Black Ops 3. Hope you guys uh, did enjoy it. As always, for my best gun class setups let me know how well you guys did with it test it out send me pictures on twitter or just let me know how well you did in the comment section of this video hope you guys did enjoy check out uh, more best gun class setups in the description there'll be a playlist uh, to more black ops 3 best gun class setups hope you guys did enjoy if you're new around here hit that subscribe button and i guess i will catch her free to faces in the next video Objectives complete. Even if you get a lucky shot, I end you. <laughs>